Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Sandwich Hopper. This is a post fly box subscription fly. It came in July and we're just now getting around to tying it. This is tied on a uh, size six hook. For the tying thread, I am using the supplied yellow thread. We have a little hot spot underneath, some red hackle. We will be building the body using the supplied foam body portions. On the wing, we have a little bit of crystal flash and deer hair. Legs are barred rubber legs, round. And for a little indicator on the top, we are using this uh, stuff called floral fiber. So let's go ahead and remove our sample and we will secure our hook in the vise. And that will be kind of a working platform to start off. Because first things first, we need to build the body. I am using a Loctite gel. This gives us something to steady the foam on. And just a small little strip right down the middle is all we need. We'll go the full length. We'll take our other piece and we're just going to line that up. Give it a little bit of a compression. And wait for that glue to set up for a quick minute. So this is how it's going to position itself on the body. And I'm just going to take my pen and make a little mark on the orange. And that is where I'm going to stop my glue because we're going to have that brown piece uh, fold over. So I'll come in with another strip of glue. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to take it shy of that mark and line up the back end. Sandwich those all together, hence the name, the Sandwich Hopper. And now we still have that available to fold over without having to peel that up. Okay, now that our body is built, we can go ahead and cast on our thread. Like all good flies, this will begin but with a single wrap of thread. We're going to start up front, we're just going to take it all the way to the bend. Stop somewhere in the middle, trim off your tag. We don't mind building up a little bit of a thread base on here because that will give our glue something to adhere to. So once our thread is at the bend of the hook, we're going to prepare our hackle and just line up the tips and strip it off. I'm just going to line up the tips on this bottom end and take those as well. So now we have a little hot spot to hang off of the back end. About a hook's gap length, not terribly long of a little hot spot sticking out of the back end there. Once that's secured, I'm going to go ahead and just run my thread forward and secure the rest of those fibers down. Again, I'm trying to give this glue something to adhere to once I do the final glue for the body. We'll trim off our waist up front. Alright, now that our glue has had plenty of opportunity to set up, let's go ahead and take our razor blade and we're going to carefully do a slit. Approximately where we want the tip of the hook to come out to about right here. So again, I'm using using my hook as kind of a work area. You'll want to use your table or your bench. We're going to carefully just cut a slit. Here we go. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. Looks like it. Because that's going to give us something to compress this all down on. Okay, once we have our front end positioned, 
It's going to be a little backwards. Some might disagree with my method. But I'm just going to take one, two loose wraps. I'm going to do one wrap underneath the foam. And then a third wrap. Okay, that's holding my foam. I'm going to give it a rotate. Now I can continue with my wraps working on the back portion of that hopper. A couple of tight wraps. Take my thread forward a little bit. I'm holding this in my hand pretty securely with my left hand. We'll take our thread forward. We're just going for those indentations. We'll take it back to that bump. A couple more wraps. Because really the glue is holding everything together. Okay, now we can rotate this back. And we can continue to secure this down. Now I'm not adding any glue yet. I'm going to save that for the end. So what I did is I'm going to take a wrap on just the bare shank of the hook, advance my thread forward, and when I get that nice clean finish, unlike on the back half there. But again, that's just for appearance, giving the shape a chance to shape up. Continue working that thread forward. We're going to take us just behind the eye. because This is where our fold over will happen. Okay, we're going to go back one bump. I like it. We're going to end up trimming that brown portion off here in a little bit. But first let's add our crystal flash on the base. And for this, I just want it to be about the sticking just past the end of the body there. And I'm just gonna fold this over and capture those little smalls. Excellent. All right, next we're going to take our deer hair. I'm just going to take a small section and trim that off of the hide. And what you want to do with your deer hair, what you always want to do, is clean out the under fibers, clean out all that junk, that trash. You want a nice clean pile to work with. Once that's all cleaned out, we'll run it through our stacker and give it a couple of taps. We can carefully remove the bottom and grab the aligned tips. And again, I want these fairly long. I want it to go that full length of that body. Couple of turns, secure that down. We can go ahead and trim off all this waste. Doesn't have to get too close because it will get folded over. All right, let's go ahead and do our legs. First, we're just going to do add tie in the the short legs. So I'm going to take one of the supplied pieces of the bar rubber legs. I'm going to fold that in half and give it a trim. Take one of the portions. I'm going to do one more wrap. And take one of the portions. I'm going to go underneath, up and over. I can line it up. And I want to try to keep this down aligned with the yellow portion. 
of that sandwiched foam. Okay, take the next piece. I'm going to just secure it here on the other side, on the far side. Three turns ought to do it. I'm going to come over here and just give it a look. Line it up if need be. Looks good and buggy to me. All right, now for the rear hopper legs, I have two pieces still uh, attached together. And I'm going to do an overhand knot. I'm going to use my tweezers to help. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. Stretch that nice and tight and get that curved leg. Now we're going to do it on the other side. This time we want it to be an underhand knot. That way we end up with one of each. That leg split up a little bit on us, but we'll work with it. Again, we're going to trim that in half. And let's take these legs that bend out and just tie in the tip of it right with the rest of everything else up front right there. A couple of tight wraps in a position where we want it. I'm going to do the same with this leg. All right, nice buggy legs. I'm gonna trim this side a little bit. All right, we're ready to fold our top piece of foam back and over. A couple securing wraps. And we're ready to add this yellow floral fiber as an indicator. We're going to just take a small little clump and we're going to trim it off. All right, we're going to fold it over once, trim our loop. Fold it over twice. This is why we're able to start with such a small section, small clump of material. And we'll do one more if it'll allow us. It will. All right, we'll take this small little patch of floral fiber. We're just going to set this evenly right on top. We're going to carefully draw that tight. All right, once that's done, we're going to do our hand whip finish. We're going to do one, two, three turns, and draw everything tight. Okay, at this time we can trim off our tying thread. Let's go ahead and shape our body. Remove it from the vise. I'm just going to give it a little angled notch up front. Shape the head a little bit. I'm going to do the same with the fold over portion. I want the end of it to be about halfway. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim that to length first, and then I can come in and secure that. 
We'll get that vise to hold that while we trim this little hot spot up top. This floral fiber cuts a little funny. You want to stick with small little portions at a time. Even with a nice pair of Dr. Slicks. Here we go. We'll do one last trim here on the back end. There we go. I like it. It's not the prettiest of flies. It's not going to win any beauty contest, but it will catch fish. Right now the hoppers and poppers were getting into the terrestrial season. All right. Last final step. We're going to just add a little the super glue down here. Let it soak into that thread. You want to give it a few minutes to dry before you start handling it. Yeah, just let those let those fibers do their thing. I mean, you don't want it to be too fancy underneath there so there you have it folks that is the post fly box it's a yellow sandwich hopper thank you for watching happy tying and with this one gang tight lines